What's up guys, today we have Vamp Wire, a new game that just came out for PlayStation Plus a few days ago, so yeah, I'm very excited to play this. I say we get started. And yes, it's not called Vamp Pyre, it's called Vamp Wire. I don't know why, but let's do it. Uh, let's see, good, go here. Options. Uh, is it right? In this? No. No. I just wanted to get everything right before I start. Uh, yes, on. New game. Oh, okay. Story more. Play vampire with aerial challenges as because before. You know what, we're gonna try story mode because, yeah, I don't know mu very much about this game and I do not want to die instantly with normal and hard. So, yeah, let's get to it. This game does go out to these. The more lives you take, the easier the game will be. Well, that's a plus. Again, I don't know very much about this game, but I don't know, it looks interesting, so I better play it. And this will take me a few twelve dreams oh. for the Red Queen under crown of stone. Eight voracious beasts born from eight restless nights. Four nails piercing the flesh of the sinner. One prayer for the summoned called by this song. Tis perhaps the countdown to oblivion for the once proud city of London. Tis perchance her inhabitants' last dance alone to face death and pestilence. Confronted by the eerie and unknown, mortals became desperate for answers. A flock's flight makes for an omen, the falling of a star, a dire presage. Turning to priests for interpretation when there was no reason to be found. When religion failed, men turned to science. I saw them build such vain cities, crafting machines made for endless war. New questions flourished as old answers withered. What is darkness but lurking sun? What is war but enslaved stone? What is glass but tortured sand? What is song but a call to arms? What is hate but jilted love? What is life but death? Pending. And another reason why I decided to play this game is show it to you guys because it's the Halloween season, so I just thought, Death. why not I show this to you guys? Since the apple was plucked from the sacred tree, mortality was believed to be God's punishment. A righteous snare to keep mankind from ascending to the stars. They were all so Death is not a wicked thing, nor some holy retribution. A true punishment would be to never know its sweet kiss. Awaken from the harshness and be born once more. I say we probably have to go this way, I believe. 
Or do we just like follow the tracks? I'm not very sure. So I'm just gonna go this way. Oh, there's someone right there. I'm gonna ask them for help. Uh, help, sir. So so, wait, hold on. Are we gonna? Oh, oh, what? So is this guy like half human, half vampire or something? Because it sounds like he just killed his own sister. That's messed up. about uh, oh shit where it come now oh, okay. i can defend myself Tricky bastards kill the thing who are you stay back sorry but you left me no choice I need help. Die, you fucking leech! Please, listen to me. I can't make any sense of this. Shut up, beast! Who are you? What is this all about? Ah! ah what in God's sake? I'll do the rest ah, of the job. Ah, just, just leave me. Ah, ah, ah. Uh, okay. Uh, uh. The sun. Certain elements. Feels like it's burning me to the bone. 
attack ready damage. Come on. Okay. So basically, we have to like avoid fire. I need to find light. somewhere to hide. Over there, right now. One of them Let me go. I need to find shelter. Is anybody there? What is this place? The place seems abandoned. I should be safe enough here. Flashback. Brother, what have you done? Mary! Mary! Mary, I'm sorry. Whoever did this to us, I will find them. This one's dressed up fancy. Let's run through his pockets. Pick in the dead's pockets? Are you serious? I've still a rent to pay. He's got no more responsibilities. What's this? Go watch. Beautiful it is. We fancy it and share the takings. <laughs> I suppose we are undertakers. <laughs> now, give him an eve. Okay, that's messed up, stealing someone's watch. That's impossible. Who's there? Are you referring to me? <laughs> no! No! I still have so much to accomplish! I still have so much left that needs doing. Save him. That's the enemy coming. The orders are to evacuate the hospital. <sighs> Done. He'll live. And now what? We fight. Killing is a hell of a lot easier than healing. Okay. No, it never got easy. Got hard, I guess. Okay, let's see. Did 
Okay, sure. I say we go to bed. This makes no sense. None of it. No sense at all. It's a nightmare. That's it. I wasn't expecting that to start a game. So yeah, vamp wire. From here to return. <laughs> He's still alive? This is absolute madness. I've lost touch with the real. Madness it is. As mad as the moon. Contains blinding sunlight into a glowing flesh. Oh, okay, here we go. Uh, hideout beds allow you to involve and rest, spend expair, use points to level up and improve your vampiric skills. Okay. Uh, let's see. It. Okay, all these are locked except for healing here. Uh, okay, so let's see. Oh. Okay. Okay, I think we're good. So how do we get out? Choose one to unlock now. Oh, okay, so aggressive. Hmm. Let's see, Shadow Mist, Blood Spare, Claws. I say Blood Spare. Okay, the vampire wears their blood and throws it like a spear. Oh, oh, okay. Did not know that. So I guess we can continue. If I'm not mad, then it must belong to the one who made me what I am. I must find him to understand what I have become. Where is it? Oh, what's in here? Oh, bottle of alcohol. Wait, can These people want ourselves? me dead. I need to leave now. Oh, offhand weapons. Okay. 
guessing we're gonna fight. I'm still oh. in Southwark. I must reach the West End. Go back home. It's locked. If only I had controlled my need for blood. Mary, someone will pay for what happened to you. For what happened to us. I can't believe I'm doing I cannot enter. It's locked. The dizziness from the jump. I can now. Oh, what? Wait, what? Is this like a save screen? Control it. Oh, okay. Probably is. Oh, no, it can't go this way. I cannot so, enter. So, yeah, leave a comment down below if you guys have ever played this or game. Played this game so I can have like more info on what to expect from this game. Or I could just experience it for myself. This is despicable. What will London have to say to me? It's locked. I have so many questions before, unanswered. I can find a way out. Another corpse. Streets of London become a mausoleum. The man has been drained of all blood, but I can still smell the scent of it. I follow the sense trail. Perhaps it will lead me to my assailant. Oh, Fresh cool. blood. The smell. Where has everyone gone? Follow the killer's trails. <laughs> So is this like a open world game? At last, a little life. Whoever he may be, the killer recently entered this bar. Maybe some of the locals saw him. It's a good thing you cannot see me now. Good evening, sir. I wondered if I could ask for your help. Wow, you look like you need a drink. Yes. I apologize for my outfit. It's been... It's been a long night. 
Been there, seen that. Don't worry, things can only get worse. Has anybody entered the bar recently? Can't say. Sorry. I spent the night making love to that gorgeous bowl, see? This is important, sir. Are you sure no one has come in here in the last few hours? I don't know and I don't care. This is a free country. People still have the right to come and go, don't they? I'll leave you to your bottle then. Hello, sir. Are you all right? Is there any way I can help you? I don't know. Maybe you could just talk to me. Maybe you prefer to speak with Tom then. He's more agreeable talking to strangers. I just want to talk. I didn't mean to scare you. I'm not afraid, sir. It's just I've other customers to take care of. I only see one customer. Oh. Well, yeah, of course. I mean, I best check on them. I'll leave then. Thank you. Oh, God, sir. You look like Jonah's whale. Just spat you out of hell. Can I get you a drink? No, thank you. I'm not... not thirsty. Well, grab a chair and get some rest. This is gonna be another long night. I'm looking for someone who might have passed through here recently. Wondered if you might help. It's been quiet tonight. The only other person I've seen went straight up to his room. <laughs> Thought it was kind of rude, actually. You mean he's still here? Well, yeah. He paid for the entire week. I need to meet this man. I have questions. Just climb the stairs and knock on the first door. I heard him open his window, so I guess he's still awake. And, uh... Yes? No funny business, you hear me? This is a respectable establishment. All right, so this vampire is upstairs. This is no place for you. Prewen has several patrols roaming the area. They do not pursue me. But they're looking for vampires, and they're most efficient. They'll not relent until the killer has been identified. I have a common objective, but I require... Shh. I think someone is eavesdropping. Are you certain? Mm -hmm. You might as well come in, whoever you are. Slowly, vampire. <coughs> Who are you? I mean you no harm. Say it, the vampire. Present yourself. I... I need a word. With anyone. That's something I can do for you. <sighs> and who might you be? Tell me what you want, then I may tell you. That's none of your concern. Sir, you have entered my room in the middle of the night, pale as a corpse and shaking like a tree. So please, indulge me. Something, someone, is molesting people. In fact, killing them, biting them. The calling card of a vampire, like you. I've been hunted down in the streets and attacked. I'm a victim here, too. I... I believe you. Then if you are not a vampire, who or what are you? Dr. Edgar Swansea of the Brotherhood of St. Paul. I am performing an independent investigation here in an attempt to understand precisely what is going on. 
Then help me find the culprit. I may. If you'll first tell me why you opened this door. I followed a trail. The scent of blood from a recent victim. It led me here. You thought I was your aggressor. That explains a great deal. We're both chasing the same shadow. A shadow, indeed. Yet I heard his voice in my head. There was a moment I believed I was mad. You should let me handle this affair. You've no idea what you're up against. No. I will find the monster. He is mine. How will you do any better than I? But then let me ask you this. What are your intentions if you find the killer? Uh... I will at last have the answers to my questions. Hmm. Then I can only wish you good hunting. And pray we shall meet again. If Swansea is not my attacker, it means somebody else came here tonight. Someone must know something. I hope I live long enough to see them wait. Evening, sir. Let's get what's coming. Can I help you? I have a few questions for you. <sighs> well, if you must. I spoke to Dr. Swansea. He's not the man I'm looking for. Now, I want the truth. The truth? What do you mean? I suspect that someone else was here tonight. And I don't think Tom wants to tell me about it. I'm just the barmaid here, okay? If Tom says you're the only visitor we had, then you're the only visitor we had. I can feel your fear, madam. Please, tell me what's going on. <sighs> it's Will. William Bishop. He came in here earlier tonight and he... Well, I thought he was gonna clock someone. Tell me about this William Bishop. Will was a sailor who worked at the canning factory before he lost that job. A nice bloke, really. He's never been violent. Until tonight. Why keep it a secret? Why not tell me about it? Tom's nothing if not loyal. After Will lost his job, he offered him one ear. They used to be good mates. But recently, well... Will started to get very aggressive. I see. Thank you for your candor. I'll be sure to talk to Tom. Tom okay. He just discovered in here to review a secret about a citizen or good to know. Okay. As a vampire, you need human blood to involve the blood quality part of the case, that's okay. Hello, sir. May I disturb you again? And you're still ugly as sin. I'll leave you to your bottle, then. Welcome back. Did you find what you were after? I can't say I have. Are you sure no one else came into your bar before I arrived? Hey, I told you, you were the only other stranger I've had. Tom, talk to me about the visit from your old friend, William. Yes, Will came by tonight, but he's not my friend anymore. I need to find him. It's a matter of urgency. Do you know where he is? You could try his boat. It's up by the North Pier. He sleeps there when he's too drunk to get home. Please describe him to me. <sighs> What'd you expect? He's a tall, sick bastard with a bad rash of torn old clothes. William used to be strong, now he's a mess. Thank you, Tom. If you see him, tell him I don't want him back here unless he cleans up his act, okay? I hope I live long enough to see them wet boot boys get what's coming to them. Famine. I think drink no longer stirs me. I will get to the bottom of this intrigue. What's been done to me, to this city? The body is still warm. 
This man has just been drained of blood. This man was armed. He tried to defend himself. This corpse has been dried of its blood, just like the previous victim. This man was armed. He tried to defend himself. Oh, nope. There were already did that one. What's this? Some sort of note. Blood and empty gin bottles. This bishop fellow is something of a heavy drinker. There are blood splats on the other side of the canal. I must reach that barge. Okay. Oh, but Locked, all right. Fresh blood. The whole building reeks of it. The scent is so strong it makes me dizzy. This place reeks of bloodshed. This creature is bedeviled. I must put it down. Him. Mr. Hampton, are you in there? We knew him well, another lost soul, a kindred spirit. Sir, listen to the sound of my voice. I am... I am a doctor. You're suffering from shock. I must return to my flock. They'll stray without me. <laughs> oh. Remember, certain skulls are every bit as resistant as we are. Who are you? 
What do you mean by scowl? You truly are a newborn. I should have realized. Wait. You, you are the woman from the bar. What? Are you like me? Can you help me? I believe, sir, I already have. George and the Saints, you've solved the mystery of these terrible murders. Patience, good fellows, I've come to offer help. Just give me a moment to secure my boat, and we can leave this awful place. William was not the evil man they claimed. He was just taken by the thirst. He needed his drink. This man requires medical attention. We'll see he gets to the nearest hospital. No, please, I almost tend to my fault. My flock needs me. Yes, sir. Go with a good Dr. Swansea. He's resourceful, and I'm sure he'll take good care of you. You'd best come as well. The sun is soon to rise, and you'll need a place to rest. I just need a moment. If I can learn something about what has happened to William, I'll be a step closer to understanding what happened to me. This poor creature can't be my maker. Could it be some subspecies of vampire? I must find a place to analyze the blood. to the Pembroke Hospital. It's just across the canal. They'll have a bed for poor Mr. Hampton. William was... What manner of creature was he? Predator, prey, villain, and victim. Who can say? The important thing is that he's been stopped. Duly noted. And the woman? What... Who is she? What woman? No, don't play me for a fool. You used me to locate that skull. You must know who she is. I thought you were a gentleman. You shouldn't talk about a lady behind her back, but I will tell you she values her privacy. Hmm. Were London as peaceful as she appears from the middle of the canal? If only that were the reality of the situation. To be honest, I've always tried to avoid this part of town. Pembroke Hospital is the last bastion between the rest of London and the epidemic. The flu has decimated the East End and the war still rages. Welcome to the front lines of a plague. This is where you work, Dr. Swansea. I am the administrator of Pembroke Hospital. I thought you were here in service of your mysterious order, the Brotherhood of... Of St. Paul's Stone, yes. But first and foremost, I'm a man of science. A physician, like yourself, Dr. Reed. How, how do you know who I am? No need for modesty. You are Dr. Jonathan Reed, a surgeon of some caliber and renown, if I'm not mistaken. You are correct, sir. I knew it! I had my suspicions. But when you took the blood sample from the corpse of poor William, I was certain. Dr. Reed. Marvelous. Have we met? I attended three of your seminars before the war. I have the utmost admiration for your research. And what a turn of fate. England's most esteemed blood specialist returns to London a vampire. <sighs> that word again, from a so-called man of science. I understand. Traditionally, the role of science is to refute myth, but when myth walks among us, the Brotherhood of St. Paul has dedicated its purpose to their study. There's so much for you to learn. Of that, you are right. Well... Then let me be blunt. Join my staff at Pembroke Hospital. As a physician. I suspect you'll not find a better post of employment to contemplate your uh, predicament. This is sudden. I was returning home to see my sickly mother. But alas, that was before contracting this... affliction. 
Dr. Reed. Take a moment to consider. The post would be for the night shift, providing a good explanation for your absence during daylight hours. You'll be adequately reimbursed and have a place to hide. I even had the forethought to bring some clean clothes. So, what do you say? It seems I have little choice, but yours is a generous offer, so I thank you. Brilliant! Oh, Jonathan, this is one for the book, and the beginning of a beautiful friendship. This game, this game's starting to get pretty interesting. Not gonna lie. Doctor Swansea, thank goodness! I was beginning to be concerned. Worry no more, Nurse Crane, for I bring good news. Oh, Doctor, what a night. We lost two more patients. Nurse Scow said she couldn't take it anymore and resigned. Yes, well, I'll make a new rotor in the morning. In the meantime, find a... Oh, a good bed for Mr. Hampton. Be sure to pay attention to his needs. Of course, Doctor. Oh, and Dorothy? Yes, Doctor? Dr. Reed here has just returned from the front. He served King Country and will be joining us here at Pembroke. We're very lucky to have gained a surgeon of his talent, and one so experienced in blood transfusions. That is good news indeed, Doctor. <laughs> oh, yes. Here at Pembroke, it's not what we have, but what we haven't. It's only thanks to Nurse Crane and the staff that our ship doesn't sink. If you have any questions, just ask her. Duly noted. Thank you. Your assistance is required, Dr. Swansea, immediately. Welcome aboard, Jonathan. We'll catch up after my rounds. Coming, Nurse Crane. I'm coming. Alright guys, so that's going to do for this part, um, this is going to be pretty an interesting gameplay for the next few days, so thank you guys for watching, comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later, bye.